guys, Ashley here. So today I thought I would do a little reading vlog. Woo! So it's a cozy, nice, casual day. So I thought I would just, you know, read some manga, try to finish my reread of Crooked Kingdom, even though I said this is trying to be like a King of Scars vlog, but that's not happening. So we're just having a nice little reading day. I don't know what this camera angle is. I'm like, ooh, little mirror shot. Artsy. Hi. Yes. Yay. Reading vlog. Let's get started with the day. Starting with my naked face. decided to pick up a manga. I picked up volume one of A Silent Voice, which is by Yoshitoki Oima. This is actually one of the February picks for the manga book club I do here. More manga please, at more manga please on Twitter and Instagram. Shout out, go follow it. So that's my manga book club where we read manga every month and this is our February pick. The other one we're reading in February also is Aruharu Rai. I decided for A Silent Voice for today. I mentioned this in my announcement video as well that I had previously seen the anime movie that they adapted for this one and while I did like it, I feel like it didn't fully hit me in the feels and affect me emotionally like it did for a lot of people. They basically put seven volumes of manga within a two hour, one and a half hour film, which I feel like obviously you're gonna leave out some bits. So also if you're not familiar with what A Silent Voice is about, we follow a boy named Shoya who is ultimately like the school bully and then when a new girl who is deaf moves into their elementary school class. She unfortunately becomes the target of the bullying from his friends and they take it too far and actually lead her to leave the school. Fast forward six years later when they meet again and it's kind of like his second chance. Can he seek forgiveness from her? Is it too late? What's gonna happen? The drama. So far I'm really enjoying it. I'm only a little bit Far. I'm using my trusty little bear bookmark here. One thing I'm trying to do for my book club this month, so to help me give better book talks and discussion for you guys, I am actually taking notes in my notebooks, which brings me to tell you about these notebooks I got, which I am just obsessed with. Obsessed with. So yeah, this stationary notebook brand company ordeal, um, they're called Hadron Epic. They are a Los Angeles-based stationary company. They were so kind to send me these three beautiful, so cute, gorgeous notebooks. And I've just been using it for all my manga things. I'm not really a bullet journal type of person. The whole concept of bullet journaling is really fascinating. I would love to do it. I find that when I've tried to do it, I don't have the patience nor time or I just end up not doing it. So I'm actually trying to use stationery. But for my More Manga Please book club especially, these have come in really handy because I'm using this one. So these are the three they sent me. I have them in the smaller size. I believe these are four by six but they do come in a little bit larger. They have different little insides as well. This one obviously is dotted grid. This one is lined and then this one is blank. I've been using this one for the more manga please just because when things are lined I start to freak out that I'm not writing straight enough. So this is the one I've been using for more manga please and if you open it up I have more manga please written there and then I have January's picks. So this is just a way to track all my readings. So we have January the first one we read was My Brother's Husband, which I gave five stars, and then I just write all the notes, and then I drew these little stars, which are kind of ugly. And then the next one we read last month was Children of the Wells by Abi Umeda. So again, the title, author, the star rating, which if you can't tell, that's supposed to be four and a half, and my notes. So it is now time to start February, friends. We have a blank page. I already have some things to say about a silent voice. Let's get to a uh, doodling. Not doodling. Writing? Doodling? I don't know. Peep peep, my little friend. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gents, that is me taking notes and being 
productive in the stationary game. Yes. If you like these lovely, lovely Hadron Epic stationaries, I will have a link to their Instagram and website and all the social medias below. And if you use my code, Ashley UT15, you get 15% off. I think these are worth it. They're really cute. I prefer the small size because obviously as well when I'm reading the manga, if I want to just put it in my purse or something, I can just stick it in there and whip it out when I want to doodle and write along, you know? So yay. Thank you again, Hadron Epic, for sending me your lovely stationary aesthetic things. I am making use of it as you see. <laughs> oh, also if you're curious to what I just wrote my random notage here, I noticed immediately that there is a lack of parental presence in this book. He seems to live with his older sister in their apartment or house lofting. So I just wrote, where are Shoya's parents? Lives with his sister. A result of bullying and acting out caused by lack of a parental presence? Hypothesizing. So I'm still reading. I am like this far. Doesn't look like much, but I'm making progress. And I'm gonna make a correction on my error. I said earlier that I felt like his lack of any sense of morality, as you might say, his bulliingness and just his acting out, Shoya, is probably a lack of parental figures. I thought this girl in here that we see his caregiver was his sister because she's you know, she's trendy, she looks young, and she runs a hair salon. But I guess that is his mother. There's one point in here where another character refers to it as his mom. So I guess that is his mom. She's just a trendy little hairdresser, I guess. So I guess I will correct my notes as well that I freaking wrote down in here that maybe his acting out isn't a result from not having any parents. It's a result of not having a father figure. And that would actually make a lot more sense. So... This boy didn't have a papa, so now he's like, let me bully all the children. I think this is really sad. The whole time I'm reading this, my face is kind of just like, oh. Because like, even though I had seen the anime, it's been a while. I just forget all the things that he does to her, and it's just so intense and traumatic. And I feel like this manga is going to wreck me. It is. Mm, not ready. Oi, yo, so I just finished volume one of Silent Voice and all I can say is just oi. I wrote one word down in my notes and that word is heavy. The bullying that Shoko receives from Shoya and how that bullying affects his life later on when he's older and just how he deals with that. Even the mental state he eventually ends up in at the end of this novel. I don't want to say any more thoughts just because I want to save a lot of my feelings about this one for my more manga please discussion video which will be up Thursday, February 28th. Join us. Hi. I'm really glad that I decided to pick this one up this month and read it for the book club. And now, man, do I regret not buying the rest of these. Ah, uh, uh, it's like I reached the end and it was like to be continued in volume two. And I'm like, I know that bitch. Stop telling me. <laughs> I think now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Books A Million and buy the rest of these BBs so I can have an aesthetic collection on my shelf. You know what I'm saying? So now we're going to go to Books A Million. Woo! Woo! <laughs> you know, I could be listening to the audiobook of Kruger Kingdom right now, but why do that when you got bops? Am I right? Like, bops? Gotta love bops. Bops! <laughs> and by bops, I mean BTS. What up? Peeps. I am back from Books A Million and I picked up volume 2 and volume 3 of A Silent Voice. These covers are so pretty. Just look at them all together. And this is only 3 out of 7? 6? I st still don't know. I can just already tell that this is going to be a favorite series of mine. Look at it! It's just a cute little thing! There is also the question on where I want to put them on the shelf. Because right now my manga shelf right here, and this is like where I usually keep my favorites, it's pretty full. 
So like, where are these gonna go when I eventually own all of them? But I guess for now, they can go right here at the corner. Or maybe I will put them next to orange because orange is also very heavy and deep sometimes. And so is a girl on the shore. And so is Utsuboro. This is the, the deep shelf, the emotionally upsetting crying shelf. <laughs> and I'll, maybe I'll just move Toto a friend. This is a Toto Terranium I made one day at a little shop. There it is. Yes. <laughs> All right, so I just got back from dinner and changed into my cozy pajamas and I actually went ahead and picked up volume two of a silent voice as well and oh my goodness if you thought the first one was emotional and hard-hitting and great the second one just even gets you more in the feels I also love how this has become like a silent voice dedicated vlog when originally it, what is this hair <laughs> originally I wanted this to be a king of scars vlog but did I succeed in rereading crooked kingdom no I haven't touched it all today it literally it's just right there, and I'm like, you know what? You can just stay there. I'm almost finished. I'm halfway through. The first time I read it, I breezed through it so quickly, and maybe it's just this anticipation I have in waiting for King of Scars. I just cannot get through this. Like, it's still great, and I love reading it, but it's just taking me forever, and I think it's just really long, and a lot of it is divulging into the characters' backstories more so than it did in Six of Crows. While Six of Crows is just one focused heist mission, this is like a lot of little mini missions. There's a set endpoint, but it's just all over the place. Realizing now Six of Crows is just so much better than Crooked Kingdom. Crooked Kingdom, still a five star read, but like, dang, you're taking me forever. Highly recommend the audiobook. When will I start to King of Scars? I don't know. We'll see when that be. Peep peep, the latest fashion. You go, know I'm saying? Wow, wow, fashion. So I just took a shower and I think now I'm just gonna watch K dramas because I still don't really feel like reading Crooked Kingdom and I want to savor A Silent Voice since it is so short and only seven volumes. So that's what I'm gonna do. A new look, honestly. I should just do this in every video. Okay, cool. <laughs> 